Aloha, I'm Ed Case, and this is my first report on my agenda as your United States Senator. I'm leading off with growing our economy because I think we can all agree that that has to be our number one priority, and it is certainly my number one priority. A couple of big picture observations on what it's going to take to grow our economy. First, when we talk about growing our economy, we're not talking only about creating good jobs for ourselves and our children as if that wasn't crucial enough, because it is. It's also about making sure that we have the resources to fund our government and all of the needs that we expect our government to provide for us, because the resources for our government come from our economy. Second, although growing our economy is a critical and crucial goal, it is very much wrapped up in all of the other challenges that we have. So balancing our budget is part of growing our economy. Preserving Social Security and Medicare is part of growing our economy, and as we grow our economy, we also preserve Social Security and Medicare. Providing for the common defense, I could go to right down the list. And so when I say growing our economy is our priority, it impacts everything else, and we have to solve everything all at the same time. Third, the best thing we can do for our Hawaii economy is to grow our national economy, because when our national economy is strong, our Hawaii economy is strong too. And fourth, of course, although we are focused on our national economy, and I will be, we also have to help our Hawaii-specific industries. Both our bread and butter industries like tourism and military spending here, but also industries that are just starting to come up at this point like healthcare or education or clean energy. These are industries that can provide for us right here in Hawaii. When I look at the national agenda that we have to follow, I call it the four T's. First, tax reform. An economy cannot survive and prosper unless its tax code is fair, equitable, and simple. And ours is anything but that. We haven't reformed it in 25 years, and we just have to go back and simplify it and make it more fair so that the burden is spread around evenly and so that we can all understand it in our businesses and we can reach reasonable predictions about what we're going to be taxed on and not. Number two, trade. Trade is the way of our world today. The days when we could just put up barriers against trade with anybody else are over. And what we have to do is to develop fair trade agreements with the rest of the world in which we all live by the same rules of trade, of copyright protection, of environmental protection, of labor protection, that encourage trade back and forth across borders. That's going to help our national economy and it will certainly help our Hawaii economy, especially when it comes to the Asia-Pacific region. Third, technology. We have been the innovators, the inventors of our world, and we can continue to do that. There's no reason why we cannot continue to be the leader of our world, and that is good for our economy. So as we focus on technology, federally, nationally, and here at home, we help our overall economy. And fourth, talent. Talent meaning education. Education meaning a workforce that can do the job. We need to train our young people in education so that they can take over the jobs of the future. And we also owe it to the folks that are already in our workforce uh, to provide retraining where necessary to adjust to new industries as they come up. The four T's will get us a long way, but again, we need to focus right here in Hawaii on the things that can work for us right here in Hawaii. And in future reports, I'll talk about some of those issues like tourism, uh, like our defense industry here, like energy, uh, like education as an industry. Fundamentally, though, what we need is strong and effective leadership in Washington from our next United States Senator, somebody that knows the business community, knows how it works, and knows what makes an economy tick. I've been fortunate to spend 30 years now in the private sector. I'm the only candidate in this race who has done that kind of service in the private sector, working with businesses and running my own businesses. I know business. I know what it takes to make an economy go, and I can provide that strong and effective leadership on the national level and also right here in Hawaii. But it's also about helping individuals and their businesses with their individual problems. You can't just focus only on national policy. You've got to get down in the weeds and help somebody that needs a problem with a federal contract or somebody that has an immigration problem. And those things are important also uh, to growing our economies right here. I look forward to talking to you more about growing our economy and the campaign ahead. My agenda for growing our economy is on my website at www.edcase.com. I welcome you to go there. I welcome your questions and suggestions. Mahalo.